Hi, my name is Joshua and this is video number five in our series about building a course membership platform with Payload. In this video, we're going to start working on user authentication and we're going to lay the groundworks for authenticated routes and a login system for our platform. Now, let's get started. We are going to start with adding a user or as adding a user object to our platform. We already have this user object, which we're continue using for admin users, but we're gonna separate the users that are actually gonna log in into our front end from the users that log in into the back end. We are going to name this one, or we're gonna create a file. We're gonna name it customers.j.ts. And in here, we're gonna de define our customer, we're gonna import type collection config from payload and gonna export const customers with collection config. It has the slug customers i customers and as admin it's gonna use the email and we set the off to true. With this is automatically is assigned an email and a password and a salt field from payload. So we can say here uses title email, even if we are not defining, f defining a separate fields type, uh, fields field. <laughs> Um, yes, now this can stay empty. Later on here, all the logic or all the configuration is going to go for storing the user data, which courses he has access to, which courses not, what is the course progress, stuff like that is later on going to go here as well. Now let's save this. Let's go into the payload config and we're going to import our customers, customers here. And if we go into our admin backend, I again, it needs to compile this. We can log in. And we now see our customers. And if we go customers, ah, this is something that stayed over from another development, but you have to create a user here. I already created a new user previously. If you go on create new user, you see here you can put email and password and confirm it. I would recommend you doing that now or do it later. And yes, we have our customers. What we now also want to do is we get these types automatically from payload, but we have to tell payload that we want it to add the customer type. For that, we're gonna use the command p pnpm pay payload generate generate types. Let's execute it, and now it's going to add compiling ts types for collection and globals. It's gonna add our customers to this payload types config. Now we can close it. <coughs> We can close it and what we now want to do is to define routes that are only accessible in our Next.js frontend if the user is authenticated. For that we go into app and we're going to create a hidden route named authenticated. Now in here in this folder everything is going to go where we don't want anybody that is not logged in to have access. So outside of this folder, we can add all our GDPR stuff, our landing pages and so on, and everybody can access it and everything that's going to be inside this folder is not accessible. This we achieve by creating a layout in the authenticated folder that makes it as a requisite that an authenticated user is present. Now let's continue creating the, the, the structure. We also need an actions folder in here and we need and we need components. I 
Now in our actions, we are going to create an action that's called get user.ts. Whenever we need on the server side to retrieve or authenticate the user, we're gonna use this server action. And I clicked somewhere, terminal. Now in the server action, it's use server. And we need to import headers as get get headers from next headers because we need to um, get the headers to get or the header is then going to be used by payload to authenticate we need to get payload get payload from payload we need import also config the config promise from add payload config we also need to import the types we need payload from <laughs> payload I know only from payload not payload types payload and finally we need our customer type customer from at uh, slash payload types perfect now now we can actually start writing the server action we're going to export async function get user this returns a promise and the promise either contains a customer or null now in here we need the headers and we need to await them get headers then we're gonna get payload payload of type payload equals uh, wait get payload and we need to await payload from oh, we're gonna pass the config and await the config promise now this sets up payload in our server action now we actually need the user user equals await payload dot auth and in here we finally need to pass the headers now now we re return the user return user or null and with this we get our server action that authenticates a user now to continue we need to create our layout file layout dot tsx because in this layout we're going to use the server function add uh, a server action now in the layout we import redirect because if no user is present we're going to directly wait what is this we're going to directly redirect him <laughs> from next navigation navigation we need react and react node and of course our custom function get user from actions get user hey, what is this Ah, it's declared but never used. Okay. Then we're going to start writing our layout. It has a reaction functional component. Oh, FC. FC. Port this as well. And takes in layout props. We still need to define them. We're going to have an interface, interface, layout props. And this in a, exactly is going to re re receive React nodes or as children's. And then we need to define our async function with children. Ah, async function with children. And in here, we're gonna await for our user and see, ah, this basically auto completes all we need. So here we call our server action Wait a second, why is it not found? Let's delete it. Get user. 
ah one dot too much now here we get our user and see if there actually is a user then or if there's no user if it's null we redirect to log in we also need to return null here so this as a whole always returns a valid component a valid component and that can also be null and in the end we're simply going to wrap all our children in this layout finally let's export the default uh, let's export this layout and now we can create a page let's create a dashboard route dashboard and if we create a new page page.tsx import react from react let's define a very simple dashboard page ah let's do it like this page now if everything worked well we should now be able to go to dash the dashboard route and we will be redirected let's log out here we will be redirected to hi yes we're on our page we want to go to dash dashboard we're gonna get redirected to log in but login is not yet defined so we're probably gonna get an error wait a second default export is not react component let's fix this ah of course export default page let's see what happens now should now get a 404 error because this page cannot be found yes of course so if we go to dashboard we're gonna immediately be rerouted to login because there is no user to be found here okay this is it for this video how to actually authenticate a user we are going to do in the next tutorial i hope this was helpful for you helpful to you if you're interested in hearing more from us please subscribe to our channel or look into the description there's a link to our newsletter where sandro informs you about everything and the latest information and news about payload so see you the next time